Hey everyone, here's my 2015 Chevy Silverado 1500. I just installed the Bilstein 5100 leveling shocks. Um, there were four shocks, you'll see here. Here's the fronts, and then the ones in the rear. I used to have a two and a half inch upper strut spacer right here. I never did anything to the back. I liked how it looked um, without that rake. Um, and uh, I was just kind of getting sick of how it was handling going down the road. So I um, purchased these Bilstein 5100 leveling shocks. Um, they're currently at the highest setting um, in the front. It did come with a lower spacer that I put on. Um, All together, it's like 2.6 inches of level in the front. Um, I didn't measure the back. I wish I would have because I think it sits just a tad bit higher, which is fine by me. Um, I just pretty much bought these again just to have a better ride going down the road versus just having that upper strut spacer in there, which I've been meaning to do this for some time. I just kind of got around to doing it. I only drive this on the weekends, so I don't have a ton of time to work on it. So I just kind of worked on it here and there um, every day I got home from work. But Anyways, um, I highly recommend this. If you have that upper strut spacer and you kind of notice how the truck kind of floats around a little bit, um, feels like the shocks extend all the way when you hit a bump, uh, this will get rid of it. I mean, it definitely rides better going down the road. Um, you'll, you'll notice it's a, a little bit, it might be a little bit stiffer of a ride, but it's kind of hard to explain. Um, you When you hit a bump, it's not an instant jolt kind of like what i experienced with the upper strut spacer um it's definitely more refined uh, able to take the shock um better than the stock original shocks in here um which i just had a local uh, guy that i know swap these those are the original springs in there um, i had them transfer he had a vertical spring compressor he took those out and uh, transferred them over to the bill stings for me. Um, I was going to do it myself. I purchased all the spring compressors, but in the end it actually only cost me $25 to have them do that. So I just uh, returned the spring compressors and um, just from a safety standpoint too, I just rather have somebody else deal with it. Um, that's set up for it with a proper vertical spring compressor. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm very, very pleased with these shocks um i also did install the rough country upper control arms um to give me a little bit better of an angle um with my ball joints and also i put a differential spacer in uh, it's about an inch puck that uh, dropped the differential differential to get my cvs better aligned but um i'll be doing a video on the rough country upper control arms along with the differential spacers and also these running boards that i put on i kind of had a busy last couple of weeks with uh doing some upgrades to my truck um yeah so i mean if you guys have any questions feel free to leave a comment i'd be more than happy to help you out also um yeah feel free to subscribe to my channel here i'm just kind of videoing my upgrades on the vehicle because i know there's not a ton of guys out there that take the time to do these upgrades and then film them but i because I've been doing so much research before I buy everything. So I've been kind of the test subject on everything from some of these different mods. But I'm happy everything's worked out, especially with these shocks. Highly, highly recommend them. Uh, great quality, great build, um, great price. All in all, I think with uh, the tools that I purchased for the install, it cost me right around 600 bucks, And I got the shocks with the lower strut spacer for $399. Um, and then about $200 in additional tools that I needed to be able to do the proper install here. But, uh, yeah, as long as you're mechanically inclined, it's really not that difficult to swap those out. All you have to do is take the three strut bolts out on top of the tower. And then there's two strut bolts that go, um, up through the bottom. Uh, you take those out, you obviously take the wheel off. You might have to drop the um, knuckle uh, from the upper ball joint in order to get enough clearance to pull 
the shock assembly out. I honestly am not 100% sure on that because I took everything out at once because I already had the upper control arms that I was going to put on. Um, so yeah, again, feel free to like, um, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, just uh, drop a line. Thanks.